Well, hello again. Uh, I posted a video a while back about uh, polishing headlights to uh, deal with crazing. Uh, and I found that while it works, and works well in many cases, uh, there are situations too extreme for that method. Um, this is one of those. Uh, this headlight was polished with that method about four times. And you see the result. The result's hardly impressive. It's still quite crazed. Let's talk a little bit about these. These covers are basically plastic, some form of plastic, an acrylic or something of the sort. And years of exposure to rain and wind and UV and all those other goodies, this is what happens. Um, this damage is on the outer surface, primarily, which is why you can polish them out. But when it gets below that very top surface uh, of the acrylic, uh, it's you know you're not going to get it with a buffing compound and a buffer, uh, short of sitting there for days on end trying to polish it. So. I decided I'd try to figure out a way to deal with these severe cases and uh, found one that worked, I think. Um, basically it's like color sanding a car. Uh, we're going to wet sand it with 1200 grit and then we're going to wet sand it with 2000 or 3000 grit, whatever you have, can get. And then we're going to buff it out and we're going to see how it looks. So I'm going to get started here. And uh, going to be in and out a bit because it's hard to make a video and, and sand at the same time. So be patient with me. bit of sanding. Um, sandpaper was previously used. It's pretty worn through. But we rinse this off. Try to get this properly clean here. It started to dry on us. You kind of have to make a judgment call. Am I good enough yet? Am I good enough yet or not? In my opinion, it's a knot. Uh, you can see probably more here, these areas where it's it's not just great yet. So I'm going to get uh, I'm going to get some fresh sandpaper, just because that was worn out from prior use, and I'm going to give it another good sanding. See what happens next. Okay, so you can see we're coated in water, plastic dust again. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it, and I'm going to go ahead and move forward, not because it's necessarily ready, though it might be, but because uh, I don't want to make this video too long. So, uh, again, the plastic dust starts to dry up on there, and you kind of got to rub it and get it moving again, so you can rinse it off. And rinse, rinse. Well, like I say, I can see some spots where it could be improved. Again, I'm going to cut to the chase and move forward. You look at it now, it's it's fairly cloudy in places. Um, and that's primarily because of the 1200 grit sandpaper scratches. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take some 3000 grit sanding pad. We're going to put it on our sander. And we're going to try to get those 1200 grit scratches out before we do our final polish. All right, be right back. Okay, so we've got our 3,000 grit sanding pad. By the way, local auto parts store had it. 3,000 grit sanding pad on the palm sander again. And we're gonna clear up this, uh, these 1,200 grit scratches. <laughs>
did the 3,000 grit. It doesn't take so long with the 3,000. You're just trying to get the 1,200 grit scratches off. And uh, as you're doing the 3,000, heck, you could probably do 2,000. You'll see it start shining up without even using any uh, polishing compound. But it's not quite as bright as it could be. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to dry it off, and then we're going to use polishing compound on it. Let me show you here. I'm fixing to start the compounding, but the polishing compound, but you'll notice it definitely could use a bit more sanding. It's going to be considerably improved either way, uh, but uh, if I had the time, I would sand it more before I start to polish it, but uh, with the, I'd use the 1200 grit because, again, it's still got some fairly deep areas of crazing like this, uh, but if you just continue to sand, you will get those areas of crazing. And basically you just want to find an even cloudy finish after the 120 grit and then move on to the 3000 and then, or 2000 3000 and then on to the polish. I'm going to polish this now let's see what happens. I'm going to finish up here real quick, but uh, basically it's considerably improved. Um, in an ideal world, I'd sand it some more and uh, go back to the 1200 grit and sand it up uh, additionally. Uh, but considerable amount of the deep crazing uh, has been resolved and improved. And again, there's just a bit, you know, a bit more crazing here. You can actually kind of feel it with your finger in places. And uh, so if we were to go back and and uh, do a deeper sanding, follow it with the uh, with 1200, and follow it with the two or three thousand grit, and then do the uh, do the buffing with buffing compound. And it comes out perfect. I got uh, a couple of them. I just matter of fact, I got these lights. Here's another one that's uh, in line. I got these lights uh, off of a car. A friend of mine asked me to asked me to clean these lights, and so I went down and I cleaned them three or four times, and man, they turned out bad. So I had a set here that I had taken out of another car and so I polished them up with this technique. They look as bad and uh, like I say just stay with the sanding a bit longer than I did and uh, and you'll get all the way down to totally smooth clear plastic. Um, again sorry I didn't go all the way down there but uh, I just don't have the time this evening so areas like this clearly use more more sanding uh, not much more at that and uh, they would come clear and you'd have a totally, a totally restored lens. So anyway, I'll probably uh, get a chance. I'll finish this thing up with another sanding and and let you know how it turned out. But uh, from my experience with those others, it turns out it turns out quite well. Anyway, I hope this is of some help to somebody. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.